Mike Stuchina, Mahester Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's video topic is going to be a discussion about the term side effects. Now, um, I've already done a video, I'm not sure if everyone's had the chance to watch it yet, on the topic of effects versus side effects. And one of the things I wanted to expand upon in that particular video, so I guess you can consider this part two of the video, um, one of the things I really was very interested in expanding on was having people understand what a true side effect is because I think in our society where pharmaceuticals run very rampant and over-the-counter over-the-counter drugs run very rampant um, <clears throat> as well as alcohol and things of that nature because we're a very addictive based um, society um, I really wanted to try to help people understand and narrow down what an actual side effect is, okay? So originally when side effects were discovered, they were based off of pharmacology, okay? Um, and one of the things that people uh, need to understand is that when you're dealing with something that is a synthetic uh, chemical, what you ultimately have is you have anywhere between one to three chemicals bound together in order to make a pharmaceutical. Now it could be less, it could be more. That's just a general number, okay? I don't claim to be a pharmacist, and I'm not pretending to be a pharmacist, but this is very general information I'm giving you about, um, about pharmaceuticals in general. <clears throat> now, oftentimes, how a side effect is based is off of what the research is speaking of. So, for example, if there was a drug that was developed, let's say, for ulcers, okay, or for stomach acid, okay, and, um, and um, people started getting diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, those would all be considered according to pharmacology side effects. Where I want to take this to another level is to explain that these very well may just be the effects of what it is a person is taking. Now it's not a positive effect, mind you, but it's still an effect. The reason why I think side effects are, or the list of side effects are so in, in concurrent with the list of actual effects is because I oftentimes most pharmaceuticals are only studied for one or maybe two purposes okay and once they've been approved for those one or two purposes everything outside of a positive effect on those purposes are considered a negative or a side effect okay and what I'm proposing people do is is that they look at those things as may not, maybe not necessarily being a negative or a side effect, but in fact one of the other effects of the drug. Okay. Um, now, when we transfer this into herbalism, this is very unique because an herb can have anywhere from a hundred to a thousand naturally containing phytochemicals. So again, that mindset of effect versus side effect does not apply with to herbs in any way shape or form or to superfoods in the same way because now you're no longer dealing with one chemical now you're dealing with hundreds up to maybe even a thousand of them in one food or one herb so when you're dealing with that many there's going to be many positive effects okay and oftentimes what I found as a practicing herbalist of 16 years is that more than not, if something happens when you're taking an herb or a superfood, it's because it is in fact supposed to happen. It's not considered negative and it's not considered a negative effect, even though we've been trained to think and believe in Western society that things like vomiting and nausea and diarrhea, for example, are all negative effects. But what they really actually are, believe it or not, especially when you're dealing with food and herbs, is those things might just be part of how your body is trying to rid itself of something that it simply doesn't want. Because part of what superfoods and herbs do is, is that they help to support 
the body's ability to detoxify itself in a more efficient way. Okay, and by helping to clean those pathways out and make the body work more efficiently, that's where you get that end result of those type of effects. So the point of this video is basically to inform the consumer that you can't put the same definition of effect and side effect for pharmaceuticals that you would for herbs and superfoods. I hope this video has hopefully cleared up some of that confusion um, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.